our living prophet teaches us that temple blessings prepare us to help prepare the world for the second coming of Jesus Christ. When he returns, his glory will be revealed and every person will witness it together. Christ will come as the millennial Messiah. We have heard this invitation time and time again from our living prophets. He invites all of you to be part of gathering scattered Israel and preparing the world for his return. Truly, the best is yet to come because the Savior is coming again. And now is the time for us to prepare. If you miss General Conference, I'd love to share what impacted me from the prophet's recent message. Followed his talks over the last seven plus years since my baptism, especially those focused on the second coming. In this talk, the prophet mentioned seven times, making it crystal clear how urgently we must prepare. I used to wonder if I was reading too much into these previous talks. But this message confirmed that preparing for Christ's return is the priority of our day. In this conference, Elder Rasband reminded us that when we sustain the prophet, we make a personal commitment to uphold his teachings. That means defending, following, and praying for him. This video is my way of lining with the prophet's call to prepare for the second coming. As someone who believes that day is coming sooner than we think, I was struck by how essential it is to stay spiritually awake. Even though I try to live prepared, I find that I sometimes slip into distractions between general conferences. This talk recentered me. Do you find yourself sometimes slipping in between those talks? The prophet began his message by announcing 17 new temples, unprecedented pace of temple building. In fact, this prophet has announced almost half of all the temples in the church's history the last six years. It's not random. These temples are being built by the Lord's direction. The blessings of the temple not only gather Israel on both sides of the veil, but prepare us to prepare others for the Savior's return. That's the core reason for this work. The second coming of Jesus Christ. Brother Wilcock compared the world to a cruise ship. Most people are on the ship to relax, but as covenant members of Christ Church, we are the crew called to serve and help prepare others for what's coming. This message reminded me about how critical it is to be proactive in our discipleship. We are not just along for the ride. The prophet also emphasized that in the coming day, Christ will govern from both old and new Jerusalem, bringing peace in order. While we are in an election season, it's comforting to remember that the true King of Kings is coming. Of course, political involvement is important, but it shouldn't overshadow our efforts to share the gospel. Are we spending more time promoting candidates or the savior? This talk was a call to refocus our efforts on Christ, the one leader that reign will never end. The prophet also gave us practical guidance. He urged us to worship regularly in the temple, where we can make and keep sacred covenants. In the temple, we come to know Christ. This is how we prepare to meet him, by ensuring that he knows us. He promised that the temple provides protection from the buffeting of the world, both spiritually and physical. I believe this protection come even more essential as we face increasing challenges, just as we've already seen in natural disasters and other crises. One part of the prophet's message really resonated with me. His testimony that every sincere seeker of Christ will find him in the temple. 
if we feel disconnected or overwhelmed, the temple is where we can regain that spiritual strength. He asked us to ponder the question, to whom or to what will I give my life? For me, following Jesus Christ is the most important decision I've ever made. The prophet also shared personal experiences like his wife's unexpected passing and a life-threatening incident when he and Wendy were held at gunpoint. Despite these harrowing moments, they felt peace through their faith. This reminded me that no matter what trials we face, Peace is possible when we hold to the Savior. He then quoted Christ's promise, I will be on your right hand and on your left, and my spirit shall be in your hearts, my angels around about you, to bear you up. This talk made me realize that his challenges has increased. So must our reliance on the Savior. The prophet urged us to study the atonement of Jesus Christ regularly, partake of the power of temple covenants, and repent often. One part hit me deeply. He said that if we are yoked to Christ, our burdens would be lighter and even the most painful moments would be temporary. That promise gave me renewed hope for myself and for all of us. It's never too early or too late to become a devout disciple. Our role, like the crew on the cruise ship, is to prepare not only ourselves, but the world for the Savior's return. The prophet's final invitation is to rededicate our lives to Jesus Christ, to testify of him, and to offer our whole souls to him. I know I can do more in sharing Christ's message, whether through social media, with friends, or in person. Christ must become the center of everything we do. And this talk helped me realize where I still have room to grow. The prophet concluded with the powerful truth that the best is yet to come because the Savior is coming again. He bore his testimony as a servant of the Lord, confirming that through the priesthood keys he holds, Christ will return and his glory will be revealed to all. I felt the Holy Ghost witness that truth as he spoke. I know that the prophet speaks for God. I know that Jesus Christ lives and that he is coming again. This talk inspired me not only with hope, but also with the awareness that I have more preparing to do for myself and for those around me. Now is the time for all of us to prepare. I share this message with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, as I was sharing this message in between the pauses, a guy came up to me and said, I see you in this park a lot recording. What is it you do? And I said, I'm a Christian content creator and I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And he says, oh, I would love to know more. So I was able to bear my testimony send him to the official church website, comeuntochrist.org, and get his contact information to pass along in the missionaries in the area. That is what this is all about. It's not about me. It's about what can we do for others.